My heart too cold. I think I'm done with ice. Cause if I leave her, she gonna die. <laughs> Okay, so hey bays and boys, so it's me. So I know we got a little soiree going on. I know we got a little vibe going on or whatnot with the light. Real sedity type, right? So today, lovelies, as y'all can tell by the stack of shit next to me, my inventory for my business came in. My inventory for my business came in. So today we're going to do like an unboxing and the organizing. I have one more box I need to take out of my closet. Now, I will give y'all a full disclaimer. I got my tongue pierced literally yesterday. So, this is my third time getting it. So, you know, the first few days are weird. It sounds lispy, you know, real rainbow grillish. But, after that, I should be fine. I'm going to try to push through it. Just to get the content out for you guys. Because this is a very exciting thing for me. And to be real with you, I'm the kind of people that don't like mess. If it's in my way, I will throw it away. And this big old fucking box there's two other empty boxes in my kitchen so we gonna get this out the way so i can throw this away because it's, it's bothering me now other than that you know if y'all don't know i have a business called persephone's gaze persephone's gaze is a skincare line that i have i did have skincare products and eyelash products but i just focus more on skincare i love skincare i love building the confidence in you ladies and gentlemen and making sure that you guys have those tools and have that ammunition to have the confidence in you you know if you like what you see in the mirror your day goes a lot better so that's where Persephone's gaze that's my you know mission statement I guess you want to say that is my mission statement that is why we are who we are and this is a black owned business the theme is very much pink very much cute and we are, will be launching the first week of April so keep that in your calendar the first week of April more than likely the first Friday of April I will have a more official date when I finish editing this video and I have an actual date like across here so we are waiting honestly this is just the first part of it this is like um you know my packaging my actual containers and stuff like that and then in another video if y'all want i will show y'all how i sanitize i will show y'all how i you know categorize and even i will show you guys how i make my skincare oil because i actually have two orders that i have to make today so i'll be doing that along with working and everything else i do 60 things at once y'all should be used to this by now but yeah so if y'all want more videos like either about inventory you know vendors I don't really do vendors with skincare because it's like oils and stuff like that but I do have like notes and stuff on vendors like what to email them what to ask for where to go stuff like that I have that in my notes from when I was thinking about selling hair so I have that and I will have my actual brand shit yes ma'am I will have my actual brand name stuff coming like the last week of March or whatever that's why we're pushing the launch to April other than that I will push through show y'all everything as soon as my like mouth starts to bother me to be honest girl I had breakfast I had cereal cereal so um I had some cereal and I feel a little better now my mouth doesn't feel as bad thank you ibuprofen sponsor me and we will just show y'all what we have so stay tuned I hope y'all enjoy and we're just gonna jump right into the intro. Say hi to the people. Don't say hi to my chest. Say hi to the people. <laughs> Y'all don't read my box. I got this at Walmart and it literally, I don't know what I had in here, but this happened and I needed to get another one. So yeah. <laughs> All right. If it's up, if it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. Him. What we have here, we have this old box and then we have this, um, whatchamacallit, we have this box of new stuff. 
you know, new to me, new to y'all, right? I ain't even opened the stuff up yet. So we just gonna scoop this over and we gonna bring this box down. And then we gonna bring this over. I got this from Walmart. Um, this was honestly an accidental find. I literally found this scrolling through looking for something else. So I found this at Walmart. I think it was like $7. It's called the large, the large flip top bin. You know, I'm childish. If it's pink on it, I will get it. And then I got these here. I got this bin, classic bin. And then we got Big Papa here. We got this here. I'm gonna show y'all more up close cause this ain't working. All right, baby, so this is the box. This is one box. Here's the whiff of sheet. And this is another box. I found this box at Walmart. This is a large flip top bin. I'm very childish, so if it has pink on it, I'm all for it. Then we have this beautiful mint container. I'm gonna back up some so y'all can see. She's pretty big. And as y'all can see, I have my purse in here. I have a book in here it's my book and then we have some muscle milk because after I record this video I'm going to work out we love a productive bay we love a productive bay okay so this is the actual storage container um, I'm gonna really take a gander at like what all I have this is everything don't mind my headset but this is everything I'm really gonna see like what I can put in here, what I can put in here, what I can put in here. Because pretty much I want to have all of my inventory together. But I also want it to run with the theme, right? So, yeah. To get a garbage bag. Literally this garbage bag is about as big as me. Don't you love Family Dollar? Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Oh, so with the roses or whatever... You want to make sure that it's infused and preferably you want to make sure that it's broken up into adequate pieces. You want to make sure that I put the herbs in last. Like I put the flowers and the herbs in last so it can float through the bottom and then I put it out by the sun. That's me. Some people do herbs first. I don't know about that but I do herbs last so they can sink to the bottom and they can soak in all the nutrients and then give out the nutrients that it wants to give us I almost dropped my cereal so the next oil these are all from sun essentials by the way i think one isn't but i will tell you guys which one isn't in so next up is geranium so geranium is um another word or sometimes it is referred to as rose oil geranium i use for my yoni serum i do have a yoni serum that can be used for external and for intimate use. Uh, that I take special orders for because I like to make sure that the batches that I send out are fresh. I personally experience the quality does go down after a little while. The geranium I put I put in my yoni serum. Now this these products are affiliated with my yoni serum. I will unfortunately have to gloss over it because I don't want to give you guys the recipe for that. That took me a hot old minute to actually get it right why does the gripper <laughs> that's what they say i got <laughs> i hope you two gonna cut my shit for that so this is another sun essentials oh i'm like beating the box it's not even coming out this is another sun essentials product and now we have i didn't focus it so now we have tea tree oil tea tree oil is in my hair ambrosia tea tree oil is another oil that can also be used as your skin for your skin yes but it's also a good antifungal oil on top of an antibacterial oil that you can put in your scalp all of these products and i'll be 100 percent real with you all these products i use on my own and i will show you like somewhere in here where how my hair looked before i started using my hair oil and how my hair looks now so if y'all want to be on the winning team baby you know persephone is the way to be i <laughs> catch that phrase so the tea tree oil is one of the other oils from my hair ambrosia moving on to the next oil peppermint oil peppermint oil is also in my hair ambrosia it's very what is the word it stimulates hair growth and it stimulates follicles to actually produce you know enhance or encourage your hair to grow it's not going to promote long hair or it's not going to promote quick hair growth 
it's just going to encourage your follicles to let more hair in now if you got a bald spot sis that's not that's not working nowhere you can try it definitely uh, the peppermint oil does give your hair that excellent bit of boost me personally I like peppermint oil when I mix it with my water and I spray it on my hair to open up the hair follicle so it's very follicle opening so me personally I like using the peppermint oil not only in my hair ambrosia but I like to use it with water and peppermint oil and conditioner because it opens up your hair follicles less all that good old you know leave-in conditioner oil grease whatever it lets all of it seep in if you want that extra bit of oomph I really encourage you guys to try honey with water and peppermint oil, um, honey is an anti-humectant. So if you do live in humid states like Florida, you know, California, even Texas, um, sort of kind of Texas, you can use that. It, it actually does the reverse effect of humidity. So if you put the humectant in your hair, you know how your hair like loses all moisture from, you know, the humidity outside. It actually pulls the moisture into your hair. So me adding that honey really did help my hair retain a lot of moisture that was lost every time I step out to walk my damn dog. Next up, rose hip oil. Y'all all know this is a, oh wow. What, what brand is this? Art Naturals. Art Naturals. The price point I paid for this rose hip oil, look how big this rose hip oil is. This is this is a lot of rose hip oil. This last, this other brand I had was like one ounce and I paid like $10. And this is like, good reviews art naturals you are pretty much doing that thing so i use rose hip oil in my skin elixir i think i did show you guys the key ingredients for my products anything additional i will not be showing in the video like i said all of this is from amazon you know i don't like to finesse the girls i have some stuff coming from amazon i got some more stuff from amazon but it's like put a wig i'm about to make if y'all want me to make a video on that let me know it won't be no frontal because, girl, I work out. Like, I don't have time to play with a frontal and working out and got to be in my scalp every single day. I'm not doing that. I don't mess with that glue. That glue irritate my skin, so y'all can have that. Anyway, <laughs> so if y'all want me to do a video on making the wig, I can. Let me know. Or I might just record it anyway. Let's see how I feel. So, first thing first on the back is my um, eyeglass droppers. Now, I have a hair like a hair skin a hair eyebrow and beard oil it's called the arrows hair ambrosia so the hair ambrosia is has jamaican black castor oil thyme rosemary all that good stuff in it right so i'm only offering it right now in two ounces and four ounces and the four ounces is in limited quantity so i want to just i honestly wanted to have it so it all matches like I don't want like my one ounces to be blue glass my two ounces to be brown glass like that confuses people and it honestly confuses me and my pockets so these are the clear droppers that we have and um, the order that I'm actually doing she ordered a cleanser that I currently don't have on the site no more so the cleanser is in four ounces so that's why I bought these four ounces for the main reason but I figure I might as well just um, have this available. So when I open up the four ounce uh, inventory for the hair ambrosia, you know, I'll be ready. And I love, like, I love, love, love the droppers. Like, the droppers are really, really nice. Really. So real quick, you guys. Oh, I almost fell. So we have all of this. All this good stuff. We're going to start moving it into the box. Now I will show you guys what's in here. That's my old formula. I'm gonna clean the bottles, old bottles. Like this is really like when I first started and you know, my heart really wasn't into it. But now it's a whole different vibe. So we are gonna start moving that stuff into there. So stay tuned for that.
Okay, so my voice, like my voice was starting to get a little weird or whatever, and my battery had died. So I just want to show y'all the finished product. These are all my oils. This is all my oils here. In the middle, I kind of don't know what to do. So I kind of left it semi-blank, but this is where I'm going to keep all of my um, packaging, like packaging stuff, like my scissors and stuff. And the top, the piece de resistance, my oils, my roses, everything. And then we have this, we have this container with my packaging. And then this honestly is still blank, pretty empty. More than likely when I decide to get like a, a packaging printer or whatever, when I decide to get a packaging printer and whatnot, more than likely as this is where it'll be. So yeah, so this was in fact a hell of a get through, but we have it done. Everything is put to put away. Everything looks nice. You know, really, really happy with it. Don't forget that the website is up and everything. We're just gonna be relaunching and everything will be available by April 5th. So April 5th is when we're gonna start opening back up and having everything ready. So be on the lookout for like more promo, more things. When my actual labels and stuff get here, I'm gonna do like another video with me like cleaning the bottles, um, putting my oil blend in the bottles, um, you know, putting the label on, packaging, like actually packaging and shipping my orders. If y'all wanna see that, let me know. But as y'all can tell, baby girl, like, this is cute as fuck. Like, I'm in love with these. I really wanna like push these out and give these to people because this is fucking cute. This is so fucking cute. So, yeah, I hope y'all like it. See y'all soon. <laughs> see y'all soon. Bye.